Yeah, this is SP, <laughs> this is April, and you're now watching the How You Live in Podcast, and uh, there's a little bit of technical difficulties, but whatever, I'm getting old, you know, <laughs> but we're going to fix it. <laughs> One day, we're going to fix it, I promise, I promise, but this is the first show, I'm going to call this the pilot show, and we live and learn just like life. Pun intended. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's our kickoff show, so, you know, it's all good. It's all good, whether we have 10 listeners, 10,000 listeners, zero listeners, negative 10, t- negative 10,000 listeners, whatever listeners we got, <laughs> we appreciate all of you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes. And we've been working on this for, what, two months? Yeah, a good two months trying to prepare and, you know, all the back end stuff. Yeah. Trying to get everything ready. All the back end stuff. Like, man, it's been, I think, since 2012 since I've been behind a microphone. I'm excited for you, especially with all that. I'm excited that we're doing this. Yes, me too. If none of y'all know who we are, you should know. If you don't, shame <laughs> on you. I mean, how would if, have you... If you don't... <laughs> yeah, like, how would have you not known who we are if you saw us? Uh, then again, there is social media, there's other things, <laughs> but... Um, okay. Well, if you don't know, now you know, and you can stick yeah. around and get to know us better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Music background on this side. I went by the name DJSP for a long time. If you count 2000 as a long time. Is that 20 years? Okay, that is a long time. That's a long time. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. And yeah, did mixtapes, a lot of affiliations, lived in LA, had my own mixtape series, had my own radio show before, a couple of them. Um, Where was, where was it? came back to jersey and then i stopped (laughs) and then i stopped i wanted to i'm like wait 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 you went into the intros and everything i'm like okay okay he's flowing yeah yeah (laughs) yeah and yeah went normal had a kid he's great and had the itch bad life yeah had the itch obviously covid thank you for nothing. That helped. No, okay. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> it helped in some ways, you know what I mean? Yeah. But no, so you're a life coach, but what kind of life coach? What's your specialty? You know, I don't think you Man, said that. Let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for the last 10 years, I've been helping people, maybe longer than that. So it's been about, about 10 years uh, just helping people in general with the life positivity relationships relationships uh, did I mention relationships even though I can't hold one of my own but I seem to help other people and it works Cause you're just like the third person you know what I mean like the, yeah. the outside it's always different being able to view it from that standpoint yeah that's true and hashtag then, facts if facts <laughs> and then I'm like I don't know I was in a training and I found out 
through the training about trying to find a niche and just a few things like narrow down on the paper and came up with a relationship coach and I'm like ah all right <laughs> it works <laughs> so oh, I mean I help people well at least your thing worked for you yeah. you saw my result twice your result well we needed to get into into you now Spill okay the beans spill the beans so I'm April I'm a native New Yorker born and raised I currently live in Arizona in the Phoenix area we are like highly on the news right now along with Nevada um, but anyway <laughs> all right New York uh, <laughs> um, I am a life coach too um, I, me and SP go way back though we've known each other for damn 10 years would it be equal to about 10 something like that i was definitely in something la like still yes yes you were yeah um i haven't always been a life coach i started and i shifted over to being a life coach four years ago um my focus which this is going to be a little new to you because i've been doing some work on my end um is a mind mindset coach um, that's something that I had to learn on my own that changed my life and so I said why not help others to you know shift that as well because it's just something like change your mindset you change the situation and then you can change your life you know just based on kind of shifting something putting a different lens if you will yeah you um, got to your, your, uh, someone else uh someone else's perspective in things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that what you meant by lens well yes and no I think that sometimes we are conditioned to see shit out of a certain lens like you're almost given a pair of glasses or goggles just based on like you know family where you grew up um, but sometimes it's a detriment and so what I've learned is that if I can step outside of that and shift my lens and put on somebody else's glasses. Maybe I, they can be somebody else's perspective, I guess. There's a million and one ways to look at it, but. Yeah, that's our job. <laughs> Other perspective. Yes, sir. Hey, by the way, technical difficulties again. What's up? I forgot to put the logo right there. <laughs> oh. There we go. Well, it's there now. Yes, sir. Neither. Yeah. But um. Anyway. Let me see. So real quick with technical difficulties, I just wanted to check on something. Yeah, I wonder how everything looks on everybody else's side. We're trying to make sure everything is not glitchy. Um, yeah. The song sounded like it was not really clear. Bad DJ. Yeah. Bad, bad. <laughs> bad, bad DJ. Terrible. Yeah, it was a little off. Yeah. It didn't sound bad but when we were testing good. everything. Until, of it course, sure now. Didn't. Was that? Of course. Yeah. Of course not. Well, this is. Okay, this is interesting. What's that? <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm trying to see everything here. Um. Okay, got it. We're good. Don't mind me. And this is April. <laughs> no, I'm bad. I'm real bad. You are bad. There's certain things. It's all good. Though. Um, it's good SB, and bad. so let's let's hit on. So obviously, this is our first episode. This is our kickoff episode, or what SB called it, the pilot episode. So. Our thought process was we we're going to hop on here, introduce ourselves, tell you a little bit about us, let you kind of see our vibe, um, and then maybe just give you also some background about why we chose to do this podcast. Like, what what's our why? You know what I mean? Like, why did we do this? <laughs> and he shakes his head. I'm like, okay. I got my you notes. You want me to go first? <clears throat> yep, go ahead. Ladies <laughs> right. first. Ladies first. <laughs> Uh huh. Um, I mean, I guess I think I speak for both of us, but I'll speak for myself just in case <clears throat> you have a different spin on it. 
but you kind of talked about it earlier like right thanks covid so the world was kind of like put on pause and slowed down for a little bit and it gave us time to i think reflect and say you know what do i want to do like well damn i became a life coach but at the same time i know that you know sometimes people might not understand what life coaches do and to be honest with you a lot of the life coaches i know are not like sb and i like we call ourselves unorthodox life coaches because we probably throw some (laughs) f-bombs uh i don't know what you're talking about right i don't know what you talk about willis (laughs) but um i think that we wanted to do it to to just connect with people and to kind of take the things that we've learned and the concepts from life coaching but in a very like down to earth but in an entertaining way like you're not going to get on here and it's a snooze fest you know what i'm saying like we want to just make it in like when i was in the beginning of my journey how would i have understood it or been like open you know what i'm saying to life coaching and to the concepts and yada yada and so we collabed we decided you know what are we going to talk about so what are we going to name it and here we are how you live in podcast you chose the name you came up with it after all the names i was like i like that one it just like (laughs) randomly stuck out of nowhere yeah it kind of did i think for both of us like i didn't want to sway you so i didn't say anything like i don't i'm not gonna tell you my favorite but Here's a list of some I came up with. What you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is pretty so do you... much how we... Yeah, it's pretty much how we started. I mean, I wanted to do a podcast, and I just kept thinking about it, putting it off, thinking about it some more, bought some equipment, thought about it, put it off again. Then she's like, hey, if you do a podcast, you got to be a guest. All right, she didn't tell me it had to happen, but... I kind it's of, kinda like, no, I'm just kidding. It's kind of like, all right. <laughs> but Like, you know I'm going to be a guest, right? <laughs> yeah. It just developed into something that's like, like, why don't we just do a podcast? We had a great opportunity uh, that brought us into, actually, from you, um, had an opportunity, and we just built, we just built on it, and we made it happen, and... Um, we put it in our own, own uh, our own hands. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Dang. It's all good. Um, we put it in our own hands to do everything ourselves um, after a, the uh, the missed opportunity, and here we are. We're like, we're still gonna do this thing. We don't care. <laughs> we're gonna do this. We're gonna conquer and and help all these people because I really think, no matter what platform we're on, we're gonna. We're going to reach out to somebody, whether it's one person or negative one person. No, uh, but but we're you know our goal is to help people, no right. matter what. <clears throat> exactly, exactly. And sometimes, like you just said, it was a missed opportunity. But sometimes those are like blessings in disguise. You know what I'm saying? Like it it paves a different path for us, and that's how I kind of see this. So yes. Blessings it's in our disguise. own thing. Yeah. <laughs> blessings in disguise. It's always a good thing. Yeah. A lot of blessings come in life. True. Mostly yeah. when you're not looking or expecting it. So. Yeah. Or you just keep um, listening to like affirmations. Yep. Yeah. Affirmations. Y'all gonna stay... learn a lot from us. <laughs> Couldn't brainwash you with the good stuff. The good stuff. <laughs> the good stuff. You got the goods? We got the goods. Yep. I have a question real quick. Yeah. Did you did you go on Facebook? Did you did you put your link? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I'm on Facebook. I can't see anything. Did you put... Mm, I th- If it was the group, I think I would have got a... 
I would have got a notification. As long as we're good on Twitch. We are on Twitch. That I, uh... Yeah. Confirmed. Boom, boom, stuff. boom. All right. I would like to try to... I don't know if you can, like... Okay, never mind. I don't even know what I'm trying to say now. Well, we're still working on things, technically. So you may yes. see us pop <laughs> on and off, testing out the technology. You may see, um, you know, no makeup on uh, my face. <laughs> you know, my hair might not be done. My beard is would be all natted and so. Yep. I try to make Same. that funnier. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> I, I need like those sound effects. Bing, bing, bang. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get I there. I need a sound effect. Yeah, we'll, hmm. we'll get there. Actually, I got a classic one, though. Since we're on here, you know, it's, uh, it's our little launch. Maybe I could play around a little bit. Yeah, why not? Let's see. It's like a grand opening. What did I say yesterday? It's like we're going to cut the ribbon. So we're supposed to have like a little party. <laughs> she did say that. She did. No oh lie. my God. Yeah, she said that. Yes. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, you know what? I Perfect. Perfect. This is what I'm going to do right here. Let me hear it. <laughs> I'm like, I feel a setup coming on. <laughs> now, because she knows how how I uh, I mess around. Yo, I if none of y'all really know, I'm a prankster, jokester. I, I like to just have fun. And that's what's going to make us different from all these other uh, <clears throat> coaches and all exactly. that crazy. Oh! <laughs> What was that? I'm looking around like something broke. Never mind. Yeah, we're not going up. Uh -oh. Trying to use that for. I love how it around. played just fine. <laughs> yeah, it no. played just fine. Yeah, it did. It did. I think it was just uh, because of the type of uh, file it is. The other one's mm. a video. That one was just regular music. Okay. <clears throat> That's another thing, too. So if there's any, like, independent artists out there listening. Um, oh, because we didn't talk about that. We want to have guests on the show. <clears throat> so if you're listening and you're ever interested, um, you can reach us via email actually how you live in podcast at gmail.com um and we're open to like bringing on like talent even to talk about like you know where you started where you're at i mean sb let me know if i'm going <laughs> the wrong way with this but i just figured it'd be good. fun to throw it out there all right i'm gonna put all the links for y'all too if you want to reach out to us especially the email address where you could watch us even though we're not on everything yet, we're working on getting on YouTube right now. Yeah, YouTube, we're on the gram. Um, we're also, actually we do have a uh, TikTok. So we'll start being active on that too. That way in between episodes, you can get little snippets, maybe like, you know, never seen before footage. When we practice and get real crazy and stuff. No. <laughs> we get crazy. We get crazy. Speaking of crazy. Got some good coffee. How many of y'all like mm. coffee? I think that's spiked coffee. That's what I think. Nah. Otherwise, I'd be falling asleep. And we don't <laughs> want that. Nah. Definitely not. It'd be hard nope. to have a conversation if you're over there snoring. Yeah, snoozing. So, yeah, any artists out there, let us know if there's a song, like something inspirational, motivational, 
you know something really positive i would love to hear it i will judge you all right i, I mean not in a bad way i just want to make sure that you know it's appropriate for this for the uh, podcast and um even to give you the opportunity to be a a guest you know which would be awesome have more people yeah exactly and we could do both i mean i think it's fair to say if you came on as a guest we'd also highlight you know play your songs and stuff like sb said as long as it's appropriate you know what i mean like we feel it kind of fits our whole vibe um then we'll showcase your work too yeah i think maybe we should do like uh hmm. i was gonna say song of the week but that won't make any sense (laughs) why because we're only on every (laughs) other week (laughs) one day (laughs) true true for now but you never know what the future holds so it's something we could possibly incorporate later on yeah true so a good idea though yeah i mean like i said don't know if we mentioned it before but every other week we're going to be on not every week um, at least for the year because things are a little crazy um we all have personal lives so uh what's the next day that will be on the 19th the 19th yeah so it's every other thursday yeah. uh four o'clock mountain standard time and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Since the clocks got full, you know, you did the full back. Yep. We got one more hour extra of 2020. I love it. Says nobody. <laughs> you know when that used to be fun, though? Like in the clubbing days. Oh, that yeah. was the shit. Like you'd be oh, like, yeah. what? We about to turn these clocks back and get another hour? We got another <laughs> hour. That's true. <laughs> to party and bullshit and party. There I go with this, with songs. You already know. There you go. She's really good with dropping songs. Just <laughs> like that. Just like that. Random. Even though I think Music I should be the life. one. But yeah, that's true. Oh, she almost spit out her water. Look at that. <laughs> I'm playing. Don't mess with me now. True, but I mean, I'm a good sidekick since I do like music as much as you do. Yeah, I let just me don't tell have the DJ something. skills. Let me tell y'all something. When oh, I was God. just trying to figure <laughs> out what to do next with this podcast, because I was just like in a whole different world compared to back then when I was doing mixtapes and radio and all this other stuff, you know, it's different being a father now and having a different life. And April, she been on top of things. A lot of props. Thank you. It's that a, it's like a team a big, effort. Yeah, I mean, it sounded like I was trying to get to something bigger than what I said, but. I mean, it you was like you was doing the whole build up. You were doing the whole build up. I'm like, okay, where are we going with this? Like, <laughs> there's a punchline coming. It's yeah. all good. A lot of help, though. It's all good. A lot of help. I feel like my camera is a little too close up to my face. There we go. There we go. Well, yeah, and I'm like sitting. (laughs) I'm like, I'm not ready for my close-ups, okay? I'm going to stay back here. (laughs) The thing was like way up on my face. No, it's all good. But, yeah. It's all good. Oh, look, you put the email up there. Where? Oh, yeah. (laughs) The ticker. <laughs> He's aware. <laughs> On the banner. So y'all better check that out. Got the... Uh, yep, so we got the email. email. Twitch. Got the Twitch. Instagram. YouTube should be here too. Ooh, YouTube. that's another thing we have to do. I bet you there's a uh, a link to go live on Instagram too through here. I tried... No, there isn't. The program is hating. Yeah, I was trying to log uh, in yesterday, and it kept giving <laughs> me an error, so whatever. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just something else we need to work through. That's all. Yeah. Find the loopholes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So. All right. What are we doing on this podcast? What, uh, what to expect from us? Are you going to go first? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so always. basically what we're trying to do is, I think we've mentioned this a little earlier, we're looking to help people in different ways. Uh, we're going to touch different subjects. Um, every show is a different subject. We're going to have guests that talked about this subject with us. We're not going to have a guest all the time, obviously, being a, uh, a new show. Um, we're working on some, some guests, uh, you know, some... Uh, some people we don't know, some people we know. I'm trying to pull some <laughs> strings for some other type of people. And uh I mean, that's what we're trying to do now in the in the uh it's all about life coaching, just helping people move forward, reaching their goals, um and you know, talk to us about <laughs> what they need help with if they're comfortable on air to talk about it. And Exactly. Exactly. But we ain't Even boring. Even if you send an email. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not boring. We're not going to be boring. Oh, no. <clears throat> Another goal know. is, um, well, because we're so different, we're trying to reach out to, well, if you kind of see our logo, it looks like I'm kind of mean, bossy. I like it. <laughs> Um, I like it. We're trying to reach out to people. Well, actually, this is what I'm looking to do is to reach out to people that is kind of scared um, or not scared or think that they might not need help or um, I don't want to put it in this term, but we're trying to like reach out to like the streets in a way. Um, those that really, uh, really don't know where to turn to. Um, mm -hmm. unorthodox is exactly the in my head. Yeah. Hey, I'm DJ SP. If you remember me, great. Then you know who I am. <laughs> I was DJ SP. <laughs> <laughs> you still are. What you talking about? Yeah. Just <clears throat> drop the DJ. Oh my god. Nah. No, but I mean to your point that's exactly it because let's be real right if i look back my journey and becoming a life coach if you asked me that 10 15 years ago i would have laughed at you <laughs> like what you know because i think there's like that that stigma of like you know <clears throat> not needing to go see like a therapist or not getting connected to somebody for like help you know what i mean because it's so you see it as being like weak like it's a weakness like you can't handle your own like you know something's wrong with you and i i know that because from my own experience you know and so i think to your point is for me even people that i have met other life coaches that i see like online like even if you google it it's just a very different I don't, how, how would you describe it like perspective or like vibe it's not like this you know down to earth i see you i understand you like i've walked in situations that are very similar to yours and that's a, another thing i think that we want to incorporate here is that like we'll be talking about things that we've overcome and so in that it's like sharing a little piece of our stories you know what i'm saying to like help connect that relatability um, and I think sometimes, for in my opinion, I don't see that kind of vulnerability when you go to somebody that could, like, potentially help you. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think that's, that's where our heartstrings are. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, to say... I was talking to a friend today about this just because of so much shit that's going on in the world. But I was like, you know, in my opinion, how I've always looked at it is no matter 
where I go, no matter how far I come, no matter how successful I become, I'll always stay humble in the fact and grounded in the fact that I'll never forget where I came from. You know, I'll never forget what situations in my life have made me and certain things that I could have looked at as, you know, unfortunate have actually given me a skill set that other people that I know don't have. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I think that's a big thing for me in, in the mindset aspect is like, there's so many times we look at all these things as like detriments and like, you know, because of this, this is where I'm stuck or because of this, it's a negative uh, vibe with it. But there's ways to take those skills and like shift them and shift your perspective to see like, oh, no, no, no. Like you've got to one up on other people because you had to go through that. Ooh, my bad. <laughs> Earthquake. <clears throat> Right? I'm like all oh, over here kicking the yeah, desk. And that stuff. was like a mic drop moment. <laughs> <laughs> like, you shook the earth, girl. Man. You know, sometimes I'm like, I get embarrassed because my laugh is crazy. And I'm like, people are going to just listen for my obnoxious laugh. <laughs> now, are you oh. laughing at your own laugh? Kind of. <laughs> I've learned to just be able to laugh at myself. True, too. True, too, too, true. Can't talk, but it's all good. Can't talk. Okay, your turn. I'm handing you the mic. <laughs> it's your turn to talk. My turn to talk. Oh, running out of coffee here. I was going to say, did you drink it all already? Almost. <laughs> Let's see. I was actually checking out the whole Facebook thing. Uh, seeing if it was working and I don't see a thing yeah I didn't get a um, what do you call it a notification nope nope I was looking on the profile because it was linked to my profile and I'm looking on my screen here to see what's going on and it only it's shows Twitch. Yeah. I mean, it's all good because I think, like I, like you said, and we said it a hundred times, it's the kickoff episode. So I think we get a little bit of grace. <laughs> grace a little bit period. of forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get a grace period. <laughs> we still have our training wheels on. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're excused. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're excused. Um, but let's talk about the Facebook group. Because we got this yes! Facebook group. We want people to um, join. join, talk with us, you know, get in with the exclusive stuff and when our scheduling is, what we're going to be talking about on the next shows, who's going to be our guests, um, if they want to be known at the time. <laughs> uh Pretty much, that's what's where it's, that's where we want everyone to focus on right now. Uh, we're working on a website. Yeah. What else we got going on there? So how do they find the group? Then they just go on Facebook, and you should be able to search "How You Live in Podcast," and it'll come up with a group. Because I did make it public. Yeah. Like the the content within the group is not public, but anybody can search for it. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Good, good thing, good thing. Yeah, all you gotta do is search "How You Living" podcast. You'll find it. Um, real easy. Let's check it out. <laughs> I was like, "Wait, what's going on?" I have a habit of picking up my phone and not my tablet. There's reasons why I want to use my tablet. Okay. You'll find it. It'll say, it's called How You Live in Podcast with April and SP. Okay. <clears throat> and if you don't know how to spell SP, shame on you. No, I'm kidding. And if you don't know, now you know. E S P E E. Okay. <laughs> Big E. Yes. Love me some Big E. Come on now. Let's Represent. 
New York, baby, baby. You'll see our logo on the top. It'll say how you live in this logo. But wait, this logo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> I'm like, that I'm logo. not good at that. Yes, that logo. Actually, yeah, that's that a logo. great. Um, that's a great point that you just brought up. So we did make sure there was consistency on all the platforms that you will see that same logo. So it was real easy to recognize. Yep. Yep. There was something. You're on. You're before. on it. Go ahead. Keep going down your list. I want to, to mention. Let's get it. Yeah, <laughs> that was the end of my list right there. No. Oh. <laughs> no. No. But um, another thing that we do have do. a YouTube. Sorry, we do have a YouTube. We just didn't kick it off today, but it's created, it's so open. you can go subscribe. It's coming it's right here. Oh, it's you right got here. it up there. It's right here. Bam. We're ready, Ben. On top of that. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Got All right. It. My bad. Go ahead. I got Sorry. it. Sorry. Um, I cut you off. Yeah. What was I going to say now? I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, That's my fault. Oh, now, 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 now I know. Now I know. Um, eventually, uh, when we have things figured out, um, also make sure on make sure on Twitch since we're on Twitch right now we're gonna have like a Q&A session if you want us to answer any questions we're going to help you with that the best that I that I said I can but the best that we can or you could be a guest on the show or like April was saying you could always email us yeah if there's like a topic um, you know something you've gone through and you kind of want us to touch on it and you don't you want to rename oh my god I can't talk you want to remain anonymous Oof, there's another song right there um, <laughs> you can do that you just you know let us know in, in the email and you know we won't say or if you want a shout out how about this if we get an email and you don't specify you want to shout out about the topic all of them will rename and remain anonymous unless <laughs> you request otherwise. <laughs> it's like, is this really water in this bottle? I mean, I don't know because I'm stumbling on my words. Coffee. Salud. <laughs> oh, I need to take a sip. Mm hmm. Yeah. But, uh, oh, I got a little coffee on my stuff. I didn't know I was, all right, whatever. <sighs> all right, so this being our first show, we got about another 21 minutes. Let's see. Yeah, what else do we want to touch on? There's a lot of things that we could talk about. <clears throat> I don't want to go into anything specific today, though. Save that for the future. Future shows. <laughs> like, next show. Yeah. On the next episode. Yeah. Yeah, on the next episode. On the next episode. What are we... Uh, all right, you know what? <clears throat> April. Yo. I think... A lot of people should read a specific book. What do you think oh. it is? Come on. The Secret. Drum Bam. roll, please. Bam. 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 They have it in a movie, too, right? Yeah. Because, um, so, you know, some of us don't really enjoy reading. I'm just saying. Like, I've <laughs> never read the book. It's I have it here for show because the reason is when I first discovered The Secret I saw a 20 minute sample video and I liked it so much I, I watched it so many times that I ended up finding the whole thing and I watched the whole thing so many times by the time I got the book I didn't like reading the book anymore because well at all because I felt like I was reading the movie. So it it kind of, it, it's kind of 
scripted in a way like the movie itself it, it goes uh by the book literally by the book like just about word for word so i'm like i just watched the movie they got visuals and that's cool but to answer another part of your question which you only had one question <laughs> there is a movie called the secret dare to dream it has Katie holmes and josh lucas it's actually like right on the bottom here. No one can see that. Whatever. No. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, based on the worldwide best-selling book, The Secret, The Secret Dare to Dream. So, it looks like a love story, to be honest. <laughs> and yeah, when you kind of think about it, you see like The Secret and you see... Two people on it, you're like, okay, is this like a secret love affair? Like, I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. <clears throat> but what I like about this, I'm going to go back to the actual book, not the, not that movie. But the book and the movie about the book, you know, there's a lot of things in life that you could apply to it. Um, in my opinion, no matter what uh, religion you are, and no matter what you believe in, there's something in the book that you could also apply to your own life in your own way. And it's a, all about switching your mind. Um, it, it's kind of like you take the negative and you look for the positive. That is pretty much like the long story short in it. And it's kind of like right. a whole training <laughs> manual of how to do it in every aspect of the part of life that you want to change. Can you give us an example just to kind of, you know, um, I don't know, give a little bit more info like of, of one thing that maybe it talks about how to shift it from the negative to a positive. Nah. Okay, I will. Okay. I'm going to say, well, then I will. <laughs> Because I remember yeah. one in there, and I still use it. Really? Mm -hmm. I I always picture uh, one part of the movie where um, this lady wakes up. Um, she goes to the bathroom to brush her teeth, and there's no toothpaste. And she uh, is like, "All right, whatever." And she just brushes her teeth anyway with no toothpaste. Like something that small. <laughs> like if you. All right. That was like the first thing that came to my mind. But... It's all like... good. I'm like, oh. But, I'm, I want to be it's... a smart ass right away. Like, yeah. you know, your breath's still going to be kicking though, right? Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But that's what, okay, that's I'll, what the, I'll uh, the whole thing is, is trying to teach you is, you know, don't. It, it... What was the part of the story? Whole, basically how to start your day that mm. was kind of what it was all about was um, all about that first mindset when you wake up you could either s start your day bad or you start your day good anything bad that's happening just move along don't dwell on all the all the bad things okay you ain't got no toothpaste whose fault's that Oh well, move it on. Brush your teeth anyway. <laughs> get all the crap out of your teeth. Get some gum. I'll get some later. Yeah. <laughs> get some later. Get but some later. It's it's literally like little things like that. There's little things, there's big things. We all go through things that that will require like a strong mind to deal with it. And gotta learn how to move on. I feel like we're getting to a certain subject Forward. here. <clears throat> what? Yeah, I don't know where you're going, but it's all good. That's what happens. I just get into these conversations, and then I start looking at things to say about it, and then I start rolling into other things, and, and I get all hyped up about it, and I just want to like look, like just take the book and be like, yeah, read this right here. <laughs> <sighs> I think your coffee is really strong. I think I but more. I want to share the one that I remember. 
That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. So, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, the one that stuck out for me, and at first I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I, I always keep it real with y'all. Like, I'll tell you. I, I was like, okay. But it's easy to get consumed and overwhelmed, like, when you get bills, right, in the mail. Um, and so one of the things in the secret, and it really did start to work, like, honest to God, was uh, they explained to you when you see these bills coming in, like, don't let your mind go crazy with like, oh my God, look at all these bills I'm receiving. I owe this. It's more about like, see them as checks or those bills that are coming in like, oh, what's $300? I just went in my account. Okay. Like, it's not to say you don't have to pay them, but it's, it's to say just know that they're there know that you have what you have to do with with them but train your mind to say like those are deposits like those are money that's coming to you or back to you instead of just kind of focusing solely on the fact that you owe that money yep there. that's helped me a lot mm -hmm. that is true and that's then i started getting department. reimbursement checks <laughs> see that's a really real. good first that yeah you know what that has happened to me before I, that, that was also one of my favorite parts i actually forgot about that part but yeah that's See? that's true that's true like all these bills that come in the way he put it was um and i remember it, it was like this uh are you talking about the movie right or the book itself i think i might have read it in the book i okay. think i remember reading it in the book it was but. like this this guy was talking about that part and he was talking about how um man wish i could remember what his name was but he was basically saying um he used to get all these bills in the mail and these bills would just keep coming in and one day he just switched his mind and said what if all these bills were checks what and if right every time a bill came in what if? he envisioned a check next thing you know it switched on him and he's like that's all he kept getting now was just checks exactly exactly yeah yeah i remember that part so well. yeah right i don't know why but it's <laughs> it stuck with me it stuck with me and then so i you know i caught myself in a moment and then moments of like you know and i mean especially i think right now it's probably a great time for people to start practicing that because a lot of us are going through hardships you know what i'm saying like with everything going on so it's yeah. easy to get overwhelmed and down about it so it's like you know i'm gonna try something though i almost want i'm very visual so it's almost like i'd like to have like a little thing you know how like back in the day when all we did was write checks we didn't really have like this whole the debit cards the way they are now um but like you'd have to always balance your account Oh yeah. I'd almost want to try having like a little thing that has like a okay, like this is my account balance. And every time I got a bill, I'm be like, oh, look at that. That's going in my account. Like it's a deposit. I'm gonna try that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, another person, and um, now since I'm like looking at the book right now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me. A great person to look up and uh read about watch um affirmations and watch some of his videos it's brought up uh, ah, bob proctor oh yes i know you you told me about him a couple times yes yeah he's he's uh all about law of attraction oh by the way the secret if you don't know is about the law of attraction there we go and I think we kind of have to David break Shermer. that down a little bit more. David Shermer, that's who you were talking so, about. So, can you, do you want to break that down more? What Wait, is what law of attraction? So, again, oh. think about when we had no idea what it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, law of attraction is when you are thinking about something consistently no matter what no matter what it is um 
I'm telling you, no matter what it is, whether it's a feeling, a thing, a animal, person, uh, anything that could come to mind, if you're constantly thinking about it all the time, you're going to see it more often and it will come to you more often. And that's one of the things that I'm trying to tell people about is if you're really trying to look for something, trying to build something, uh, attract something in your life, use the law of attraction. Focus on it 100% um, all the time. Affirmations, um, that will help you. Uh, you could listen to that. Uh, affirmations, listen to them, watch <laughs> them. Um, almost every night I go to sleep to one. Um there. You know that gave me an idea that I'm gonna write down right now. Okay. I guess you'll tell me later. You got yes. this little look on your eye, it's... like, <laughs> like yeah, buddy. <laughs> um. I'll, I'll write it on my wall over here. Okay, you got it. Are you gonna give me like that spin? There we go. <laughs> Uh, Inside joke. Know. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know. Nobody knows about that. Nobody knows. Um, but yeah, so to your point, again, when people were telling me, oh, don't keep thinking about that. Don't keep doing You're going to attract it. You're going to bring it towards you. And I'd say, are you kidding me right now? Like, that's a crock of shit. You know, why, why would I cause that in my life? And so yeah. I remember... Um, I moved into a new apartment and I don't know, like there was something that I was obsessed with the AC because we live in Arizona, okay? And so the summertime is like a buck 10, a buck 20, that's hot. And so bit. without central air, yeah, just a little bit. Um, you know, it gets, you can't live, you, you can't be in the house, or at least I can't. And so anyway, I was like real obsessed with like the AC. And I just like, I kept saying like, oh, do you think it's working right? Like, oh, like, and I just kept obsessing over, obsessing over and it broke. And so my husband was like, look what you did. And mind you, he does, he's not big on like the stuff that we talk about. Like he's a little bit more like, nah, you know what I mean? Um, and so I'm like, what'd you say? And he's like, well, you kept talking about it. You kept thinking about it. He's like, now it broke. He's like, you shouldn't have done that. And so it sounds simple and it sounds stupid at the same time. But it, for me, it was like, it's that concrete evidence. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, I did attract it to happen because I kept thinking about it. It was like, it was right here. You know what I mean? It was like my focus. Yep, yep. So. It's like when people see a specific number all the time or a specific time like 11 11. Mm -hmm. I mean, even that. You know what showed up on my meaning. mileage today? Uh, the mile odometer on my car. What do you think? What number showed up? Uh, am I supposed to know? <laughs> Just guess. What year's your car? <laughs> Well, it's not that number. Okay, I'm going to just tell you. So the repeating numbers, like you were just saying, 1111. Uh, but on my odometer today, 888 came up. And I, and I was celebrating. I don't know if you ever looked that number up. But I've no. gotten obsessed with, like, wanting to know what it means. And usually it's, like, prosperity and shit like that. And I was like, oh, my God, 888, and it's the kickoff of, of the podcast. I was like, yes, yes, Lord, it's just good luck. Is that what 888 means? Mm-hmm. Ah. I yeah. never knew. I never knew. I mean, I now I knew you know. uh, 666. I knew 777, 888. I never knew four, 888. Four, four. What's 444? Four, four? I get four four four. I get three three three. Oh my god! They repeat. And what it's happened was it started numbers. with the yeah, and they it started with the eleven eleven, like over and over and over. And then I started seeing like 
on my phone, I pick it up and it was like, oh, it's 4.44. Oh, okay. And what did they say? There's no such thing as coincidence. And then all of a sudden it was 3.33. Now, I hope this happens to you because I'm talking about it. Every time I'm in my car, I'll start seeing them on the license plates. So like, let's say a car cuts me off and I'm ready to be like, you know, doing a New York thing, beeping my horn, like cursing at him. And all of a sudden I look at the, the plate and it's like 444. I'm like, oh, okay, let me shut up. <laughs> like they were put in my path for a reason. As Jersey too. Flipping the bird. Yes, exactly. It's an East Coast thing. Flipping nah, the bird, I think landed it's just on the, the horn. I think it's just PA, Jersey, and New York. New York? That's it, really? Like, they don't do so. that in mass? I've been there Maybe. a couple times. Never really had a reason <laughs> to go there. It's colder. I've been there a couple times. I don't like the cold. No, Chicago. Yo. When I went there one time, this one time they at had Pan York Camp. Beat. Camp, don't Pan shut camp. up. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, had I had that to. in my head. This one time at Pan Camp, no. Um, <laughs> but I was like, how could you be colder than New York? But I think it's because just how it's situated and right on the water on the lake or whatever. Whew, that cold goes like right through you. No matter how many yeah. jackets you have on, coats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's right up Brick there City. by all the lakes, Canada. It's it's just colder up there. Yeah. The higher you go, the yeah. colder you it's... get. There you go. Yeah, kind of crazy. It's um, crazy. You know what number I see a lot of is um, 22. And I see a Ooh. lot of... Do you ever see triple two? Mm. Or just 22? Maybe. No. Maybe. Okay. Well, I'll I'll send you the link to where I get the number kind of translations and breakdowns, and then you can constantly use that same website and look them up. Oh, she just gave me it's homework. Been... Yes, I did. It's it's been on point though, for me. <laughs> you know where the number started for me was my cousin was wearing number twenty two, and I believe it was basketball. And then ever since then, the number 22 always popped up everywhere. Even the recycling truck hmm. that comes outside my house is number 22. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Now yeah. it makes you really wonder, like, the significance. Yeah. I just wonder. Hmm. Hey, Google, what does number 22 mean? Oh, God. <laughs> She's not helpful. Nah, not at all. All right, whatever. Go back to hibernation. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> we're approaching the end of the show. What a quick we hour. Are. I'm kind of, I know, I'm kind of bummed. I'm like we're done already? <laughs> That's it? Yeah. <laughs> so... What should our listeners so, and viewers expect next week? Two weeks. And two weeks from now. So we're going to have more of a specific topic that we'll be talking about. So that's one thing you can look forward to. Our awesome selves being ourselves, being funny and entertaining and... Um, but at the same time, giving you the goods, like giving you good information. Um, every week, you could look forward to a topic, life coach topics, motivation, inspiration, knowledge. Boom. So don't forget to subscribe um, to our, our Twitch, to YouTube. You can hit us up at our Gmail if you want us to talk about something specific. Um, also, look for our Facebook group, um, How You Live In Podcast with April and SB. And I'm freezing. <laughs> and my face, facial expressions are hilarious. 
But yeah, did I miss anything? No, nah, no. Nah. One last thing. Okay. One last thing. Uh, yeah, actually, I do want yeah. everyone to, uh, you know, pitch us some ideas too, because I want everyone to, um, I want our viewers, listeners to be involved, which would really help us out if they gave us like something to talk about. It's like, uh, uh, ah, you know, I don't know, but, uh. You're back. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I can't hear you. I don't see you. All I heard was our listeners, and that was it. Yeah. I think she froze. <laughs> Maybe I froze. Someone froze. I don't know. But um, I just want to be more engaged with our listeners, and listeners that give us more topics to talk about will help us out, and we'll be more engaged with you. Um, as she, as uh, uh, April was saying, We'll give you a shout out and all that stuff if you want to be known. If not, all good. Just let us know. We'll communicate with you the best that we can. And um, one last thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's April. Oh, my God. You see, but you can't give me this stuff because then I want to like, <laughs> I want to be silly. I still want you to get my voice to change on there. Like Snapchat. <laughs> I can't. I can't. All right. I'm going to put you back okay, to normal. Okay, put me now. back to normal. Here Thank we you. go. <laughs> that's what you can keep expecting. All that craziness. I got all controls. <laughs> I, that's the scary part. I'm like, can we have shared, please? All right. So, <laughs> once again. We thank you guys. We appreciate you for tuning in. Um, like, subscribe, share. You know, get into the conversation with us. Get engaged. And we look forward to showing up for you guys consistently. Yes, sir. And here goes our show intro again to uh, check the it The outro. Out. Hopefully it works. <laughs> yeah, this time. I don't know. That's what the out intro was supposed to be, but we're going to use it as an outro for today. <laughs> it's all good all right check y'all next time sp <laughs>
from it. History is history, it's not his story. Instead of ignoring, go explore it, it's so much glory. People forgot, but nigga, I didn't forget it. That's a slap in the face to anybody that actually lived it. They talk slick, talk shit, they talk quick. All that shit is bullshit because it's fucking toxic. I'm shocking people with new facts like my name is Raiden. Cooking up the soul with Lula Y, ain't no apron. Oh, yeah. Check it. It's about to make a change. Do it with some soul and a little love. Make a change. Yeah, it's about to make a change. Do it with some soul and a little love. Make a change. You can't make a change unless you got the love. Do it with some soul and a